Welcome to Active Archiving and Tiered Storage with Atempo and BlueArc. Not all files are created equal. Some require high performance disk, while digital tape makes sense for others. Some must be kept indefinitely, while others can be purged nightly. That's why BlueArc and Atempo have teamed up for an Active Archiving Tiered Storage solution. This joint solution allows Titan and Mercury administrators to fine-tune their storage based on their data's performance and retention requirements. How does the joint solution work? It uses multiple tiers of disk and tape devices to reduce overall storage costs and automatically migrates files between the tiers based on site-specific policies. How simple can it be? Users can transparently access files from any tier based on BlueArc cross-volume links. Users can also archive, search and retrieve using a Tempo drag-and-drop interface. And administrators can schedule migrations, define target devices, and assign retention times in just a few clicks. Let us show you how it works. The first demo we're going to do is show you how you would archive from the blue arc to the archive in the demo using a manual process. So this GUI called the client UI, you will be able to browse the content of the Mercury of the blue arc and choose any of those folders and push it to the archive. What I'm going to do, I'm going to choose the main folder called surfing competition and push it to the archive. So by just doing a drag and drop, you will push the first in the queue. So ADA is going to pause in here and say, if you apply, it's going to archive all those files on tape. On the client side, you will see a message telling you that the archive is started. On the administration side, we should also see a job in here running, archiving to the disk in here for demo purposes. So let's wait for the job to finish. The job is now completed. So what we should see now on the blue arc in the surfing competition is what is called a stub or a CVL file in the blue arc world which is actually we replace the file with a pointer to a location on the storage. So that's one way to archive from ADA. Another way will be to create an automatic task to archive that and put some constraints if you wish. That is going to be set up on the ADA side in a task and in order to do that we set up something called an automatic archiving task. What you will see in that task is the name of the platform, the, so basically the name of the blue arc that has been created on the ADA side, the path of the folder that you want to archive, the destination archive, which is called in here the blue arc archive. So remember, associated to a policy going on tape, on disk, or on disk, or a double copy. And what you'll be able to put in here as well is a bunch of constraints such as um, only pick the files that haven't been modified in the last six months for example, something like that. You could also put a second constraint to say not only you want those old files but you want those whose size is greater than five gigabytes for example. You will also be able to schedule that and that's the whole idea of the automatic archiving to regularly scan the blue arc and push files to the archive and stuff. Now to be able to retrieve those files to use the GUI in here the same GUI we used to archive, switch to retrieve mode, let's refresh the view in here, choose any of those files in here, let's maybe restore, I don't know, this mp3 file on the desktop, so just grab the file, drag and drop to the desktop. Again, on the client side in here, it's going to create a job as well, a retrieval, oh hang on, I need to apply the basket validate the job and it's going to retrieve the job locally on your desktop but directly from tape you don't even go through the blue arc when you do something like that every time you restore a file that has been a on the blue arc back on the blue arc it's not going to be deleted on the ADS side it's going to stay on tape retrieval is complete so now on my desktop I should have that mp3 file that has been restored from tape directly so again two ways double click on the file or use that specific GUI to restore the file. 